Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep supporting us. We really do appreciate it. Uh, motivate me by giving me stuff to react to and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest or will be more than glad to actually react to anything that you guys suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to Christian Challenges, Muhammad Hijab, Speaker's Corner. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Because <laughs> if I am, I need to get a paycheck right? or some kind of thing. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Israel will pay you for something. They pay everyone else apparently. Okay. So, um, so you don't even acknowledge that there are any changes within the last couple of years. In what respect? I've answered you about three times now, Mo. You're not silly, are you? No, in you know what respect? What I'm You're just skirting what I'm saying. In the respect of the preservation of the Quran. Uh, in, within, this, within Islamic circles? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, you not don't really. see any apostasy by... Um, no, I don't. Have, have you uh, come across any uh, scholars, Islamic scholars that no, become apostates? No, I've seen imams who've uh, apostasy. I don't know about imams. You can have an imam. Uh, you can have any imam. This young man here could be an imam. He's very good looking enough. He's got a fantastic good looking voice. Good enough. That's a big theological advantage when you're good looking. Is that for the, um, like when you divorce people, you, if the wife wants to go back, you need to be quite good looking. What are you talking about here? I'm talking about the Why are you bringing marriage into the conversation? I know I look good today. Just, do you? It's just the colour shirt. You, you know. Okay, it's so... As you can see. It's definitely You're okay. talking about good looking and this okay. and that. What's, what's the latest thing? What are you going to ask me next? Okay, Christian polemicism. You still do that, don't you? You polemicise Christianity. Sometimes here and there. Yeah, yeah. What's, okay. the, what's the latest thing that you find irreconcilable? Because that was our original debate, but that was... I feel like this, the things I find reconcile about Christianity are the same things that Christians themselves found irreconcilable. Can you give me an example? Like, for example, the Trinity. Irreconcilable in as much as you don't understand it the way other people No, it's, do. it's that people struggle to conceptualize it and to even believe it, and that they have schools of thought because of it. That's why you had in Christianity, you had tritheists. You had, you, you had individuals that on one, on one side of the equation and people, people on the other side. That's why you had Augustine write a book on the Trinity, which is multi-volume long. And he's trying to uh, ex explain it in the fourth century. So it's not, yeah. it's not new. Yeah. This has been happening in Christianity for uh, 1,500, 1,300, uh, 700 years. Excellent. And do you think that if you did uh, miraculously fully understand it, that would make any jot of difference to your faith? Because the, the trinity of the Quran is not what anyone's been discussing for hundreds of years. It, that's Father, Son and Holy Spirit as opposed to Mary. Do you see? So it's an utterly different trinity to the one that Allah references in what? the Quran. Yeah, but the Quran doesn't say the trinity includes Mary. It does. No, it doesn't. Well, he says, don't take... Uh, did, I, did I tell... What is it? He's speaking to Isa. He said, I didn't yeah. tell you to take... Well, if, for example, look, let's, let's, let's have an example. Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Taymiyyah wrote a book called the Jawab al Sahih, yeah? right. which was a response to Christians. Yeah? It's called the, the fitting response or something like that, or the correct response. And in it, he has a whole chapter where he talks about the, the Trinity that the Quran mentions. Yes. And in it, he's, he's, let's just say, an apparentist. He looks at the apparent meanings. He says that the Quran doesn't, doesn't specify what, who's in the Trinity. I'm not saying Muhammad Hijab has. Excuse, let me finish, let me finish. I'm not saying Muhammad Hijab's opinion on the Quranic verses are X because Muhammad Hijab's on the uh, Quranic verses are irrelevant to the majority of people. I'm not a no, master that's not exegete. True. You've got no, a lot no, of no. No problem. But the only people that listen to me are those who want to see me transmit the information of the big scholars of the past. I'm telling you, Ibn Taymiyyah, who died at 728 AH, a good 700 years ago, he wrote in his book called The Job of Sahih. He said that there's a chapter where he talks about what Sorry, the. Can I just have a let me finish. 700 AH is only 720, 728 so AH, like which is after Hij after Hijri. Like, after yeah. Hijri, yeah? Okay, 13th yeah. century uh, yeah, yeah, AD, okay? okay. Yeah, so, anyway, uh, it's like 1328 or something like that, right? What I'm saying is that Ibn Taymiyyah writes in his book, there's a whole chapter that's dedicated to does the Quran. He answers this question, which you're bringing to me now. Does the Quran specify a kind of trinity? His answer is it, it doesn't. So it includes all the, he actually says this, includes all the models of Trinity that Christians have believed in historically. Which Christians believed in Mary and Isa and Allah? I've already told you that Quran doesn't specify that. You'd have to bring no, me no, the it's evidence. It's reference. Well, it's in the Quran. No, it's not in the Quran. Well, there are no uh, messages from Allah in the For example, uh, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look, the only, when Allah says in Quran, do not take yeah. my, me and my mum, Ilahain, to two lords. That is because we Alongside as... Alongside Allah. Yeah, fine, fine. It doesn't say in the Quran that 
Mary and uh, Mary and Jesus are part of the Trinity. It says, D uh, did you ask them that you yeah. took you and your mum as a Lord? Now, let me ask you, let me so tell you that something. Implies hold on, hold on. that Allah has seen a time when this is believed because no, he's it, asking all it, him some all it him did you say it? All it implies is that Christians do ta'lih or they, uh, they create a divine relationship with Mary. Now, if you look at what the Quran's understanding of worship is, for example, Allah says in the Quran, أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَهُ هَوَىٰ have you seen the one who has taken his own self as a god? Right. Yeah? Like the pagans, I guess, maybe. Individuals who uh, act upon, who make their desire the ultimate authority. Yeah, yeah? they make a god in their own image. Uh, the, the Prophet Muhammad said in the hadith, Ta'isa abdu dinari dirham. That cursed is the one who worships the coin, the dinar and the dirham, money basically, mm -hmm. money worshipper. And now, if, you're, if your theory held that everywhere the Quran and Sunnah uh, talked about a different type That's of god. That's not go my theory. And I'm just saying, yeah. you understand? that to the Quran dictates or tells us that there are certain ways in which a human being can take something or someone as a God. The way in which Mary is seen as to be taken as a God is that the kind of worship that we would consider, especially Venerate Roman Catholics, yeah. Venerate, call it whatever you like, yeah, yeah. Roman Catholics in particular, mm -hmm. who call her the mother of God, yeah. yeah? We would consider this and Protestants would actually agree and that's why I find it is uh, you as a Protestant I find it uh, quite uh, shocking that you're asking me this. I'm not asking yeah, you, but Catholics yeah, don't believe the Trinity yeah, doesn't have the Holy Spirit. I know, no, no, I didn't say it. The, the, oh, I that. said it. No, no, no I, I'm I know. just pointing out I'm, the, the Quran, Quran yeah. the only verse you could be referring to is this particular verse. That's it. Okay, yes. now this verse in doesn't... In the clear and concise the, yeah, Quran. Yeah, in the clear and concise Quran it doesn't say the Trinity consists of my, uh, uh, Mary this and that. No, it's an inference, that's what I That's saying. your inference okay. is wrong. I'm saying that your inference is... is oh, there is, are the references to a differing trinity within about, say, not three. The Quran doesn't specify it doesn't. who... It does okay, not... So my next question. The Quran doesn't specify who are in the... who's in the trinity. Yeah. Doesn't specify. That's why I'm saying that Ibn Taymiyyah mentions in his book, Jab Sahih, who died 700 years ago, he's saying that because the Quran doesn't... he doesn't specify for a reason. So that it can include all of the models of Trinity. Let me give you let me, let me give you an example, right? In in the first three hundred years of Christianity, the Holy Spirit was not seen as a divine, co-equal, co-eternal. What's your source for that? I'll tell you, uh, J and D Kelly, right? J and D. A modern author. Yeah, it's a modern author, Christian author. It's well, named J and D Kelly. Only the one that you can bring. Well, then it's not Jesus just let me let me finish. Let me finish. Three, let me finish. All three. Yeah, yeah, okay. The uh, you tell me what's my Bible. source. I've given you your yeah. source. Yeah. Okay, J and D. You don't have to accept it, no problem. I'm saying that he gives us primary sources. He, give, he, 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 he gives the primary sources. He gives more than one primary source evidence. Let me tell you what he... Give the Bible as his primary yes, he does. Yes, he does. Of course he does. Well, let me, let me, let me yeah. stop saying things you don't know. I do know. You, okay, who's Jane, who is Jane Dean Kelly? What's his, what's his book? Sorry, I'm, what's I'm he talking about? What I'm saying. You've misunderstood what I'm saying. I'm saying the Bible does not, the New Testament doesn't give any verses that imply anyway, the Holy Spirit is not God. Anyway, let, let me tell you something. Jane Dean Kelly makes the following argument. Or he, he, he's not even making an argument, he's, he's narrating history. He's saying that, look, for example, if you look at the primary source material, if you look at the Nicene Creed of 325, yeah? Yes. You will find that the Father is mentioned, yes, the, Holy, the Son is mentioned, yes, the Holy Spirit is mentioned. Yes. But the Holy Spirit is not mentioned as co-equal and co-eternal God. Lord, giver of life. Lord, Lord. He's when only... Jesus let, let, let me finish, let me finish. Jesus so, now, let, stop, stop, stop. All three were stop, together. Stop, stop, stop. All stop. three were together. He's not what are you saying? He's not, he's not right. mentioned as co-equal and co-eternal with, with God. Uh, with uh, the with, uh, with Father of the Son. So, uh, Charles, so, 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 not before Charles then. Yeah, in, Const in Constantinople, because you said Charles in 451. No, because there's so, a split. There's a rift after uh, yeah, that I know. where yeah, he yeah, proceeds fine. from. I, you're right. Yeah. But what I'm saying before that, you mentioned Charles in. You mentioned Charles in. Charles in is 451. I'm saying in 381. That's when now, right before 381, when there was the Constantinopolitan Creed, yes. a Constantinople Creed, that's when you had the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, co equal, co eternal. Now, in the, in the, prior in the interim, Nicaea. in the interim, it's after, it's 381, and I see 325. Oh, okay. All right, so you've got 325, you've got the Father and the Son, both are co equal, co eternal. The Holy Spirit is not co equal. He's the Lord giver of life. He's the Lord giver of life, no problem. But it's not co equal, co eternal, God. Yeah, I'm saying the free. Hold on, hold on. The Holy Spirit, I know, the Lord, I, I, I know, life, so that implies I know. Divinity. Not really, because we don't believe no, no, no. in anything else. Hold on, divinity. give me, give me a second. Yeah. I understand. I know what you believe. I'm just yeah. saying that this is how your belief developed. Three twenty-five. Give me a second. Okay. Three twenty-five. When there was the Arian controversy, and then after yes. the subsequent Nicene Creed, that's what happened. Three eighty-one. Now, now you have the Constantinopolitan Creed. Now, what happened between? You had the Cappadocian fathers. Okay, the Cappadocian fathers, who J and D Kelly mentioned. Uh, Gregory of Nyssa, Basil of uh, these three three men. Okay, the the question was 
what is the status of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Okay, now this question of what is the status of the Holy Spirit itself, the fact that there was a question, was it a creature, was it an angel, was it whatever? After the question was raised, that's why one of the main reasons why they started doing another, uh, another council in 381. And when they did the other council, the Holy Spirit was recognized thereafter. Recognized, not, it, not imputed. No, but listen, See? it was recognized Meaning there. It's always been. And listen, please, let, let me decision. just finish. They, it was recognized. They were recognized. It was recognized thereafter as Koiku and Koto. Yes. Now, Theodosius II, who was in charge of the Roman Empire at the time, he then forced this decree by force. Anyone who went against the Constantinopolitan Creed of 381 would be uh, banished, be persecuted, or he whatever. Disapprove of people who enforce laws. I know. I haven't made a moral. I haven't. I haven't made a moral judgment. I'm just telling no, you history. You. Just, I haven't yeah. made a moral judgment. Why you said force? I have no, no problem. Yes. Yeah. I do. By the way, I do. But that's a separate discussion. No, anyway, no well. problem. Yeah. That's what you think. That's your uh, yeah. distorted understanding. 381. Well, the don't yeah. want to be killed, no, listen. Surely. Whatever. Yes. Okay. 381. Theodosius II, he enforced the Constantinopolitan Creed, which now had the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit as Koiku Kosa. In other words, if you look at, and this is why I dare you and I challenge you and I challenge the whole Christian world that I have been doing so for the, the last, Christian yeah, world. yeah, I've, I've been doing so for the last half decade and I have no response. Give me one church father, yes. one simple church father. Yeah, from fr first 300 years. Okay, whatever, whatever. Stop wasting my time. 300, 300 years. Listen, give me one church father, 300 years of Christianity, right. before uh, Nicene Creed, yep. who, who stated categorically yep. that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. was co equal and co eternal with the Father and Can the Son. I, and right, then I will. Try and go ahead. You that. Without yeah. any reference. Give me one name. Say, no, I'm going to use logic. I'm going to say that in order... I don't order want logic. I want names. Okay. In order... This is my answer. And then I've got one final question on with that. If um, no one would have been discussing it if some people did not believe it, some church fathers who met up to discuss it, if there was no dissent again, do you know what I mean? If the no, idea I don't know wasn't... what you mean. Give me one okay, name. Okay, you tell me. One church council where a brand new idea has sprung up at tea time. Like while they were what, just the, getting their biscuits. Well, the Aryan controversy. No, Arius already held those views. Okay, so what are you talking about? I'm saying that there must have been church fathers who believed it in order for it to be. So discussed. give me one, give me your evidence. I'll find one. I'll come. When are you back? Probably. Uh, this is what I'm saying. You, you don't, don't even know. know. He doesn't know when he's back. Okay. I don't know when I'm back. Way. Is that the only no, thing you can get on me? No, I'll find it and I'll put it into your YouTube. Uh, oh, no, no, no. All I'm saying to you is Excellent. that. Now get me one question. church Please. father for the first 300 years. I will. Look, oh, my claim is this. Okay. That they, look, if you look at the primary source materials of early Christianity, from the time that the earliest documents were found, for example, the DDK in the first hundred years of yes, Christianity. I like the uh, uh, Yeah, you like it, but it doesn't have anything about your trinity in it. If you look at the DDK from the <laughs> first hundred years, it doesn't. Yes, Not yours. One, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Allah's one is the one which includes oh, your one as well. So it's mentioned here. So anyway, the, the first, anyway, the first 300 years, give me one church father who believes in that the Holy Spirit is co-equal and co-eternal. Okay, Look, that, she's saying you're... you're you I know you... No, no, I will. When I do my mind, I want to double check that I'm right. I know you're saying you've got an idea. What's your idea? Say it now if you're brave. If I'm brave? Yeah, say it. Be, be brave. You say you've got an idea. I want to hear it. Yeah. The people want to hear it. He wants to hear it. He wants to hear it. What is your idea? What is your idea? The of the Bible, we were inspired by the Holy Spirit. So what? Our church fathers. Excuse me, I haven't finished my point yet. Okay. Our church fathers, and they did believe it. But that's another thing. So now, that's another thing. So now, what's your idea? That's not an, another thing. That's what's your idea? That's an answer. That's an answer, but I wanted to go... Is that your idea? Oh, help me. Right, the Why did you come and debate me today? I came to ask you when we could debate, and you said, no, well, no, this, why, why did you come? When I'm I not being to... aggressive, I'm just I mean, winning the argument. Okay, so do you. Uh, do you, 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 right, are, are, you are you done here? No. Allah says, <laughs> okay. Allah says that okay. if Christians do not stand upon that which we believe, he won't be very pleased. What he verse are you talking us. about? Uh, anyone, have you got come here with references. Why? Well, I can't believe this. Everyone this knows is, about religion. Please yeah, leave. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done here. Are we done? Are we done here? We must be. If you can't remember, are we done here? Are we done here? Just answered you. The point is, I'm making is this. Oh no, you're making a point when we're done. Are we done? I said, making, are we done? And I said, if you can't remember the verse of the Quran, we're not making it. You're not picking any verse. Allah says that Christians must stand on what they believe. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Quran. Which you verse? remember it. Which I verse? don't know the verse. So I don't know Does what that mean about? it doesn't exist, that I don't know it? No, I don't know what Is you're talking about. Is the Quran subjective? Does it cease the, the, to exist no, if the, I don't the, remember the, the verse? Only, the closest thing I can think about, which you're saying is, you're not on anything except if you uphold the Torah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to want to and I'm going to find it and i Give me a okay? reference because I can't I help you out here. I will, here. but I've only got the one phone, so it's difficult because I'm using it to Okay, is this your best effort? 
Best effort at what? Is this your best effort? At what? At trying to produce an argument for Christianity? No. Okay. Well, clearly not. I'm using it for you. So why have you waited 11 months to see me and this is the best you can come? <laughs> this is the best you can see. Who are you? Just that. Someone interest. you've Who come you? to me. You said you're not an Islamic. <laughs> you come to me. You come to me. I'm important. I'm important yeah, so enough for you to, to notice. To ask him a question about when we would debate the. Excuse me. You're about 12. When he. <laughs> He's not 12. Before the lockdown. 13. Before the lockdown, we well, is that what, something you like? to ask you. Stop changing, stop obfuscating. It's embarrassing. Why are you trying to attack it's the man? It's embarrassing. He's, He's a very good looking man. Look here. Very good looking man. Mohammed's on a bit. You don't want her? Yeah. That makes Mohammed, a lot of. Now join the queue. Mohammed, like, try what? and do your beard justice. You're a big man and you're just being childish at the moment. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. You're welcome. So, there are two points that I was making, but the third is I approached you not for a debate. I approached you to ask when we could debate the thing that you've forgotten about. Listen, fair enough. I, I, haven't, I haven't got time for he this. He said, all right then, Kate. Okay. Listen, you, you haven't got time for this. if you just prepare yourself when you meet me. I, I gave you a chance to How present you know your... argument. Listen, if what, you... I'm supposed to follow your schedule? Wait a minute, I'm wait a minute. I'm here every week. Wait a minute. Yeah. If you're here every week yeah. and you are coming to me yeah. and you want to speak to me... I did, about the thing we agreed. And you're not preparing the that... way. You are not preparing the arguments or the yeah. conversation that you want to compare. You, you want to speak about. You seem a bit busy with all the uh, bringing down Islam thing, so I, I sort of put that on the back burner. I didn't really look at the. Flat so if I was stuff. bringing down Islam, why are you standing in my way as a Christian apologist? You well, should I'm let not, me bring it down I'm some not, more. I'm not. I'll let you get on with the Captain Caveman haircut, everything. I didn't say a word, did I? This is the second. Did by I? the way, this is the second. This is the time. second reference that she's made to my to appearance. Your haircut, my yeah. beard, my you hair. You're telling me I this boy is. I'm. I'm worried what she's going to say next. <laughs> well, we won't bring in the shirt then. Sunny. All right then, thanks very much. Thank, 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 thank you. See you later. Excuse me, sir. How are you, brother? Good. Good man. You're looking good, good nowadays, man. Good, good, good. Even going to the gym a little bit? Good, good, good. I like it. Who does your hair? <laughs> Kay wants to know. She loves her hairstyles. Where's the Jewish bit? I'm in. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, this was hard for me to follow because none of the parties involved were allowing the other person to speak and I feel like they both had some good points that could have made the this video even great because there's always something to learn in life no matter where someone is coming from their opinion their background whatever it is there's always something to, to listen to you can see Someone can be speaking, can be saying something and it makes you think, but this looks valid. Let me look more into it. But these guys, I don't like the way they are treating each other. I mean, so what exactly are we supposed to learn from this? That we can't learn from each other? That we can't keep quiet and let the other person uh, put their point across? and um concerning the trinity why would the holy spirit be the lord because i think one of them mentioned that and another thing about the trinity of course it's not in the bible the word is not mentioned in the bible but i'd love to ask by the quran mentioning it doesn't it um like doesn't it hold the foundation to actually support the christian belief that the trinity is actually a thing that's what i was thinking this entire time and like i said they really had good points but they had me so distracted by the not allowing each other to speak so for now that's what i'd love to ask and hope you guys can give me the answers to my questions let me know what you guys think about this video if there's something you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.